Hey y'all, it is time for chit chat, chit chat, hey, chit chat girl, let me just stop it. Um, anyway, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things today. Um, yes, and we're going to be detangling girl, I'm going to be detangling with my wooden comb and I got some pre poo over here, it's the same thing, y'all know. Now my hair was in, girl, my hair, can y'all tell that my hair is growing and y'all know already my hair grows out this way then she grows down and hair comes here and we're going to be lightly misting my hair with water and then using the conditioner now i personally like to use water conditioner and oil but i'm not going to be washing my hair to tomorrow and it's pretty early in the day here right now it's only one o'clock so um let me go get my mirror y'all so i can see what i'm doing we're gonna jump right into this conversation because there's some things going on in these YouTube streets I want to talk about. Mostly, it's, it's mostly me. <laughs> there she go. Now I look ominous. I'm trying to look ominous. All right, y'all. Let me section my hair off. Um, I got my. I put on a little bit of makeup because I had a doctor's appointment this morning, and. I have to make sure I got these brows together because girl, Tina, my nail technician nearly took all my eyebrows off. Y'all, she, she won't be doing my brows again. Um, whew, okay, I'm going to be sectioning my hair off because tomorrow is wash day. I'm really excited about my wash day and not having to review anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was petty but no i really am excited to actually wash my hair and do everything in the shower because typically i wash condition i am going to be deep conditioning and i'm going to be using heat so i'm going to have to get out of the shower for that but i when i'm not deep conditioning i typically wash shampoo and apply my leave-in all right there so um you know I, i'll be able to you know do any do everything and not worried about getting shampoo on my titties. I mean, this would be good, y'all. And I am going to be using it. Y'all know I'm just. I am going to be using the bar soap by 22nd Woman. Um, yeah, I'm looking a little ashed out. Hold on. These glasses, too. Yeah, so. YouTube streets. Mean comments. One of the things that come with, unfortunately, being a YouTuber is that you may get some comments that are not so nice bless your heart um so recently i wouldn't say i necessarily got a mean comment it wasn't mean it was i guess constructive criticism but i didn't agree with it <laughs> no some of y'all like dang girl so the person was basically like you come off as very angry um i was hoping that you would basically cheer up a little bit more towards the end um, and this is the first video I've watched of yours, and I won't be subscribing. Okay, I actually laughed at that comment for one. And then I had to, you know, when you are a content creator, if you want to keep the peace and keep a positive atmosphere, you have to be careful what you say to people. So I wrote her back and was basically like, hmm, this is a first, I come off as angry. First of all, this is a, a comment, nah, nah, I am coming off as angry, but I'm loud. First of all, y'all know my personality. Do not take everything I say to heart. I'm a joker, I'm a prankster, not necessarily a prankster, I'm a joker. I have a dark sense of humor, a little quirky. I may offend someone, I am up, I do apologize, but my intentions are never to come out and rightfully offend people. I'm not like that, that's not who I am. But the video was like a five, eight minute video on me pre pooing my hair. How am I supposed to act when I'm pre pooing my hair? I'm just, what, what type of, you know what I mean? So I was like, hmm, I said, this is a first anger? This is a first for me, well, um, you know, I'm not going to, everyone's not going to like, this is basically what I said. This is a first. You know, unfortunately, not everyone's going to like me, and that's fine. Thank you so much for watching. 
that's all you could say. I mean, you could be very negative back to the person, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. So, you know, every now and then, I will get some negative comments. And again, that's not, to me, that wasn't mean. It was just her, you know, voicing her opinion, which is absolutely fine. She didn't use any curse words. She didn't call me out. She was, you know, she was very appropriate, which is fine. I know, honestly, it is. I'm not being petty. But every now and then, girl, oh yes, I get some ratchet gutter mouth. See, so, so see, you, you can't say that. I shouldn't say that. Every now and then, I get a not so nice person leaving an unpleasant comment on my channel. And it's mostly on my um, detangling video that has all the views, like well over 240,000 views, right? I've gotten, you know, someone recently, not recently, a couple of months ago said that 4C hair is ugly. And they are going in on that person, so I'm not going to delete it. <laughs> Normally, I delete comments that are getting really nasty, but um, I had another individual who wrote on that same video that um, my hair was still nappy and ugly. You know, so I get that. I get that every now and then my hair is ugly and nappy, and uh, one other person told me I need to perm it. Um... And it always seems to be from someone who doesn't have a profile picture. Let me tell you something. If you don't have a profile picture, darling, you cannot come for me and my hair. Even if you do, a lot of the times the people who are commenting, they weren't shaking goes. You can't be wearing no shaking go from hairstop.com and talking about my tresses. It ain't gonna work that way, girl. Why, why would you put that much energy into leaving nasty, I, look, I get constructive criticism. I get that and I welcome that. But to be negative and nasty for no reason, there's no point in doing that. That's really not so. <sighs> but like I said before, that comes with the territory. I mean, should, should we be subjected to that? Absolutely not. But unfortunately, you know, it's an open platform. People want to write what they want to write. And it is what it is. That's just how it is. You know, like I said, if I see some other YouTubers making comments on other folks' channels and I never wanna bring any type of negativity onto someone else's channel. So I just shake my head and keep it pushing. I'm like, you got a lot of nerves to be seeing this mess on someone else's channel, but um yeah girl, it is what it is. Okay, so y'all, I finally was able, I know I am late like really late on this. I finally was able to watch the Bobby Brown show. First of all, I didn't know it was dang on four hours long. Two things I didn't know. I didn't know it was four hours long and I did not know that Bobby Brown is only 49 years old. He's a little bit fluffy right now. Yeah, he put on a few pounds, um, but drugs, you know, drugs would definitely do that to your body. So. It was good. It had a little bit too. Yeah, I know how I feel about, you know, S-E-X on the screen. He ain't here, y'all. Y'all, you know how I feel about sexton. It's not sex, sex on the TV screen. And this was no no dry humping. This was full on let's get naked scene. So I had no idea he used to date, um, what is her name, Janet Jackson. I had no idea he was dating her. Um, from, from my understanding, she was kind of upset. This is the vlog stuff, so you never know what's legit. She was kind of upset how she was portrayed, I think really when it came to the colorism, because there was the scene on um, in the show to where he asked her was the reason why she didn't want to date him because he was black. And not only black, but a dark-skinned black man. So those of you who don't know my younger generation, there weren't a lot of, first of all, the 80s, late 80s, early 90s was saturated with light-skinned brothers. The Barges, um, what is his name, Christopher? <coughs> was it Christopher? What is his name, y'all? Y'all know who I'm talking about. And the other one um, with the unibrow. You know, they were... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about that was wearing the denim. They were the ish in the 80s and 90s. So dark skinned brothers, you know, girl, please. Um, but I guess that's what Janet Jackson's hang up, you know, with the with the documentary, whatever you want to call it. That wasn't necessarily true. However, if you look at it, look at the family. Most of them dated outside and have married and had kids outside of their race. Actually, I think all of them have, just about. What about Rebe? You know, know what, who she married and had kids with? All the kids are like bright, so I'm assuming that they're all, you know, mixed with something. And 
so I guess people were surprised by that. I, I'm, I wasn't surprised. Uh, I know Snoop Dogg made a, you know, a little video. And y'all, I know I'm late. He made a little video on how, you know, how did he get, how did he pull Janet Jackson? Uh, Bobby Brown had swagger, even though I was 10 years old. I, I wasn't fast, girl. But Bobby Brown had swagger. He was not ugly, so I don't know why people were, I think they're equating with the Bobby Brown now. The Bobby Brown back then, then was fine. So, yeah, no, he ain't he could dance. Oh yes, that's why he got eight kids. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I preferred part one over part two. Um, part two, meaning the the series itself, it was broken up into two parts. Part two was a little slow for me. I was like, girl, get to the point. I had to watch part one a couple of times. Um, yeah, I didn't realize he had had a stroke, and again, all that is drug use. Now, I knew that, um, you know, Whitney kind of was already on that stuff before, and they painted him to be the bad boy and all this, which is kind of sad. Now, I do think there was a little bit of, I'm the victim, so to speak, from Bobby Brown, because he was there on a set with them, y'all. So, a lot of the stuff was a bit of an exaggeration, in my opinion. Um... Some of it, in my opinion, could have been a bit of an exaggeration because I feel like all his problems, he tried to basically justify it with, oh, my mama was sick. Oh, Whitney just filed for divorce. Oh, this going on. And not to downplay those as legitimate issues, but you, at a certain point, you're a grown-ass man. You got to be a, hold accountable, be accountable for your own actions, right? But he kept, there was almost this narrative of, okay, yes, I got arrested, but... This what this is what's going on. So whenever you saw him getting pulled over by the cops, there is this back end story of this is what was really happening. So we need to have some type of sympathy for him because now he's getting girl. I don't have any sympathy for your ass. No, I don't. I, I do not. And now I do feel compassion for him having lost his child. However, as a parent, you are supposed to keep your child safe. And honest to God, I think that, and I hate to say this, because as a parent, I wouldn't want someone doing this to me, but it is what it is. Their child saw them high. Bobby Christina saw them high. There is no way that she did not know that both her parents were doing drugs. Yeah, yeah, so I saw that, I did see that now, like I told you, I am um, watching Married to Medicine. I have not caught the last few episodes um, this thing is snagging my hair. Did y'all hear that? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to finger detangling for a bit and then do this again. Um, haven't seen the, ep the latest episode. One show that I am watching and y'all, y'all gotta check it out. It is a little disturbing and it is center with weird ass Bill Paxton. It's very different. The first season had Jessica Bill who looked extremely thin like i didn't even recognize her she looked like she has an eating disorder you have to excuse the background if you see stuff splashing everywhere she seriously looks like she has an eating disorder disorder now i know some people can be naturally thin um and i'm not shaming her for that but i've never seen her that thin before so but it's a good show <clears throat> it's a really good show now they're on second season the second season and it's called the center now um yeah yeah no i'm not really big into it's really hard for me to watch shows i like to watch an entire thing and get done with it you know what i mean um i did then watch how to get away with murder and i liked it i saw that olivia pope came on and i liked it i, I finished that series <clears throat> um one series that I'm waiting on, but I still have mixed feelings about because y'all, I am a type of person, I do try to watch what I see and what I hear, even though I, I could be rational as hell. I try to maintain the outside influences because you have to be careful. So American Horror Story, I've only seen two seasons. I saw the first one where they were in that crazy ass house girl with the woman walking around with, with the plastic, uh, kinky kinky suit on snm or bondage whatever the hell you call it i saw that one and then i tried i tried to see coven i couldn't do it i couldn't do it um i i did watch the one with that that dirty ass clown 
black clown walking around with the suit that hadn't been washed in 40 years and he didn't have like no jaw or something. That was good. Freak show, that was good. But then, look, I told you, I don't play around. I don't play around with what I see. There were a couple of scenes there in the beginning that was like, oh, y'all, somebody was doing acid when they thought of this. Um... <sighs> Not to give away, but I don't care. There, there was one scene where I can't remember who it was. Um, the main character, the older one with the blonde hair. She's walking around in this underground sex place. And they showed a scene of a woman bent over a teacup and peeing in it. I said, you know what? Y'all don't lost your damn mind. Done. This is on, this is on cable. I'm a, maybe I'm just, maybe it's me, you know, maybe I just can't handle that stuff, but I'm, I'm okay. I don't, I don't want to be able to handle that. I think that's what's wrong with our society, our society. One of the things that's wrong with our society, we're no longer shocked by something. We're no longer clutching our pearls. We're accepting the foolery, you know, like if they allow this on TV, what's next? believe like the other day I was watching something on BET and they said D-I-C-K. They didn't bleep it out. And I looked at my husband. I said they, they said penis on here but not penis. And he was like he just shook his head. I'm like then what's what's next? You know what I mean? What's next? Speaking of penis. Um <laughs> so watching the previous episode of Ayana yeah I'm gonna pronounce her name correctly one day I promise you um, she had the young lady, Brandy, from the franchise Basketball Wives, and she's married to, I don't know his name, but he played basketball for a while in the NBA. Her husband is basically cheated on her, but girl, she took him aside, meaning, I don't know, whatever. She took him aside and was basically questioning him you know, about his relationship with his parents. Okay, so the wife, Brandy, says, you know, I've known he, she's cheated on me eight times, and you know, it, it was very hurtful. Girl, it was hurtful after the first time. So, um, Ayanna pulls him aside, right? She's talking to him about his relationship with his mother. Um, he's never met his father. All right, y'all, the camera went dead. Um, he's never met his father. His father's alive. Never met him. Neither one of them have reached out to the father. I think that is, to each other, I mean, I think that is absolutely sad. That is, that is horrible. I mean, they have their reasons clearly, but if your father is alive and there is really no strife, but you just didn't reach out, why? So anyway, so she asked him, girl, how many women have you been with? He said 341. I'm like, what? But they bleeped it out. I'm like, why the hell y'all bleeping this out? This is what we need to hear. Three one, three hundred and forty. I'm like, well, he went on to say, well, it was. I think he said it was easy to do. Three hundred and forty-one. So she's like, um, do you think you may have a sex problem? Not yet. Yes, he does, girl. Just, just. He needs to he needs to have a transplant. Just remove their entire lower body, lower half of his body. Y'all, he done been with a whole zip code of women. Like that doesn't make any sense. You know, when you're having intercourse, sexual intercourse, God forbid you're not using protection. Those of you who are under the age of 18, cover your ears. Or hell, you may need to hear this. When you are having unprotected sex with someone, you are exchanging blood, bodily fluids, you are exchanging energy, you are literally sleeping with everyone they have slept with. He did that 341 times. Then he went back to his wife and was putting that inside of her. There's no wonder why she has cervical cancer, y'all. What type of void are you feeling to have laid up with 341 different people? Child, he got community penis. So she went back and told the wife, Brandy, she couldn't take it. Because she was focused on the number when that shouldn't even be the focus. You should have been upset about it the first time. He decided to go around and, and swing his dingling. And you know what it is? They, I was surprised to find out how young they, they are. Like, I mean, she looked like she's in her mid to late 30s. He looked like he's in his 40s. Me, I thought he was in his his mid 40s all right y'all um 
Yes, y'all, going to Texas soon. I cannot wait to see my best friend, y'all. I am a habitual friend stealer. Um, <laughs> my friend was our mutual friend, friend. And now that I think about it, a lot of, not a lot, but quite a few of my friends or other friends, like if I could think about it right now, I have about two or two or three friends that I made on my own. <laughs> Just like a damn introvert. Y'all, this, this is the back of my hair. And look at that. Look at that. That's all the way it went here. Yes, yes. Uh, the next hair related video hopefully will be my traveling with natural hair. I will be blowing out my hair tomorrow. I have tomorrow off. Not to blow out my hair, but, um, and we're gonna be starting on some DIYs. I will. One of you commented on a DIY that Nappy had at Jojoba had done. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out, sis. Yes, I will be doing that. So I have several DIYs. It will basically be a new DIY every two weeks. Is that okay with y'all? All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.